Hello and welcome to my class. Today we're going to be talking about string theory. But I can't seem to remember which string theory is exactly. Oh, I remember. Hold on. Uh, let me go to the board and show you. String theory is a the theory that everything in the universe is made up of particles called strings, a tiny non-point particle. This means that it's not just measured by one point, like a dot. Though there was originally five variations of string theory, they were all unified by M-theory, which declared that all five of them were just different ways of looking at one type of theory. String theory is part of the grand unified theory, that is, that it is a theory that would unite all of physics to one main equation. Here's a string. It's like a rubber band. It might look more like this, because it vibrates constantly. Well, actually, it might look more like this, because it would be the new smallest thing discovered in the universe. A hundred billion billion times smaller than an atom, in fact. If the theory is proven true, then there would be 11 spatial dimensions, adding 6 onto the 4 that we already know, the 3 dimensions of space, and 1 of time. It would also confirm the existence of parallel universes. All that seems crazy, but it's required mathematically for the string theory to work. In fact, we may even be living on the membrane of a large and stretched out string. Any questions about what I just said? Yes, you! Me? There's no one else in this room. How was string theory discovered? That's a really good question. Let me answer it. One physicist by the name of Gabriel Veneziano accidentally discovered string theory through an equation for strong force. The equation spread and was eventually studied by a young American physicist, Leonard Susskind, who discovered that the equation described what came to be known as the string. Facing many anomalies, otherwise known as mathematical inconsistencies, string theory struggled to push its way up to plausibility. Eventually, it was solved, and free of anomalies after a long time of work by the duo of Michael Green and John Schwartz. Though the mathematical portion of the theory has been proven to be plausible, the unfortunate truth is that it is untestable if the theory is true. This is due to, again, the really small size of the strings. Anyways, thank you for joining us in this brief overview of string theory. And when I say boom, Whoa. oh, cool! It's this. Well, I just found a string. <laughs> this is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is just a rubber band.